Hey guys, Chris here from Profit Guru. In this video, you'll learn what Profit Guru's bulk analyzer tool is and how you can use it to quickly find profitable products from your suppliers. Amazon sellers who use wholesale sourcing work with suppliers who typically provide large product files. These files contain product data like cost, SKU, and UPCs. These files can have thousands of products and to go through them manually is an extremely time consuming and painful process. This is where the bulk analyzer becomes your best friend. With Profit Guru's bulk analyzer, you simply upload your product list, take a few moments to relax, maybe spend some quality time with your loved ones while the tool does all the heavy lifting for you. Using data within the supplier file, the bulk analyzer finds each product listing on Amazon and automatically calculates each product's profitability by using key metrics such as Amazon FBA fees and supplier costs. Now that you know what the bulk analyzer tool does, let me show you how the magic works. Here's an example of a typical supplier file. Most files will have a lot of data. However, I've cleaned this one up a bit, so it only contains the information that the tool requires, which is product name, UPC, and supplier cost. The file must be saved in CSV or Excel format. This file is ready to go, so let's head over to Profit Guru and get it uploaded. First things first, we need to set our shipping to Amazon cost, which will be used within the product's profitability calculations. From Profit Guru's main dashboard, click on My Profile, then click the Settings tab, and for this example, I will use 20 cents per pound and click Save. Now let's head over to the Bulk Analysis tool by clicking on it in the left menu bar. Here I will click My Suppliers and then Add New Supplier. First I'll enter the name of the supplier and now I will put the inbound shipping cost which is the cost your supplier charges in order to ship the product to you. In this example I will use 3% of the cost price. This will be included within the tool's product profitability calculations. Now let's save this information. With the supplier information saved, we're ready to upload the supplier file. Click on the My Suppliers tab. Find the recently added supplier and click the Imports Product tab. Select the appropriate supplier file And now we've got to match the appropriate data columns by using the Columns to Match dropdown. Now remember, in order for this to work, the tool requires a UPC, price, and product name. Once the required columns are matched, click Save and importing process will begin. A few things worth noting is that there are no limits on how many products can be processed monthly. Now, there is a max limit of 50,000 uploaded products at any given time. However, suppliers can be deleted to make room for new supplier files as often as needed. Also, the product information will be refreshed from Amazon daily. This ensures the most recent Amazon product information is being provided. And then lastly, large files can take a few hours to import, but it's typically a lot faster than that. You will receive a message within the notification tab on the dashboard once the import is complete. Now that the import is complete, we are able to use Profit Guru's powerful filtering features to quickly identify the products that meet our specific criteria. This allows us to focus on the products we are most interested in. Let's review how quick and easy this process is. From the ASINs tab of the Bulk Analysis Tool dashboard, we will select the appropriate supplier and click on the Advanced Filter. This will show all the fields we can use to filter the products. In this example, I am mostly interested in products that have a good profit margin, are lightweight, have good sales volume, and ones that I'm not going to have a lot of competition with. To accomplish this, I will set the ROI to at least 25%. We'll set the max sales rank to be 75,000 and no more than two FBA sellers. We'll want the weight no more than two and a half pounds. 
and we'll want to make sure that we're not looking at products that are sold by Amazon. Once I click search, the tool immediately identifies all the supplier's products that fit within these parameters and places them right at my fingertips. To get a good snapshot on a per product basis, I will minimize the side menu bar by clicking the sandwich icon. Now I will remove a few columns I am less interested in by clicking on the wheel icon and deselecting the fields. Now I have a really good snapshot of each product as I scroll down. I can also sort by column. So if I want to view products with the highest sales volume first, I can click the sales rank column, sorting them from highest to lowest. As I scroll through these products, I can take a closer look at any product that piques my interest simply by clicking on the product name. Here, I can review data that comes from Amazon, such as averages for the product sales rank and price, as well as data from the supplier, such as supplier cost and package quantity. I can also see the profit calculator, which allows me to adjust the sell price and recalculate the profit based on the adjusted sell price. Clicking on the Price History Charts tab allows me to see historical metrics that are very important to know about before investing in any product. These metrics include the product's price history, sales rank history, and number of sellers history. This gives us great insight that helps me determine if the product has any significant variations that I should be aware of. For example, it helps me identify if the product is seasonal or if it has ever had any major increases in FBA sellers or decreases in FBA price that could potentially lower my sales volume and margin. Another thing to look closely at when reviewing these products is the product package quantity. Amazon will sometimes report inaccurate quantities. However, we can easily edit these quantities and the tool will adjust the calculations based on any revisions. In this example, we see this product has a really high ROI. Now when we look at the product name, we see that it shows a package of 8. But when looking at what Amazon is reporting, we see the calculations have been performed for only a package of 1. To change this for accurate calculations, simply click Inaccurate, Edit, and enter 8 in place of the 1. Then click Update. We'll now see the tool has automatically updated the calculations based on the revisions we just made and now we have accurate metrics. As you can see, Profit Guru's Bulk Analyzer tool is very helpful in streamlining the process with identifying products from your suppliers that fit your specific parameters. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please take a moment to comment below with any questions or feedback you have, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more helpful information that's beneficial to your Amazon business.